Josh here. Welcome to The Legend of Mario Creepypasta. This story is about the stall children in Hyrule Fields and the, a possible connection they may have to the Mario series. Let's see how it turns out. Here we go. I was playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D when I noticed something in Hyrule Fields. Those bone enemies that just pop up never having a story behind them they just randomly appear in Hyrule Field at night I thought for a moment then it hit me they looked like large Koopas from Mario long ago before Hyrule was built there lived a man named Mario he fought the evil King Koopa Bowser the only ways to kill enemies were to jump on them but where did these enemies go when they die they fell past the bottom of the screen or got squished and were never heard from again. Their families were worried about their family members when they were fighting against Mario and the wars that would happen. Every time Mario would see Koopas, they were always in a large field with a dirt path and always in the grass waiting for Mario to show up. He would jump on their skulls, his boots caving their skulls in, then he would hit their shell, and when their shell vanished, they woke up underground. They couldn't breathe, they couldn't move, they couldn't do anything but sit there and die thanks to either skull decay or loss of air. This happened every single time Mario defeated a Koopa, and when the Koopa's families got the bad news, they swore they would hate the plumber for the rest of their days on that planet. When he smashed a Goomba, their bones broke out of them due to the fact being pushed down by a mass force. They also cried in agony over the mass pain produced. Soon Mario died of old age and soon all the Koopas, the Goombas, and the world where Mario once lived died. Hyrule and the Kyokiri village were made and all were happy. One night, a citizen heard a rattling that sounded like bones in the Hyrule Castle. They sat there and watched as two blow glowing eyes came closer in the darkness that came with the night. A body of bones made of Koopa bones and Goomba bones combined walked out and grabbed the citizen. For hours, he struggled to break free of the monster he now saw, but it was too late. The skeletal monster ripped off the cheek skin of the poor citizen. He pleaded with pain for it to stop, but it made no attempt to stop itself and tore its legs off skin. Spewing blood all over the cold stone gravel thrown beneath them. He couldn't fight and he couldn't struggle, but as it bit his face and took off his nose, it raised its sharpened bone claws and ripped off all his chest skin, eating whatever fell off. He tore him bits until he was nothing but bone, and the gravel road was painted red with blood. A nearby guard launched his spear through the skeletal monster, finally hearing the screams of the poor, now dead citizen. He saw as more skeletal shadows appear in the way of the drawbridge. He raised the drawbridge, catching seven of those skeletal monsters in the way, and crushing them to dust. In the day, these creatures vanished, and they made it illegal for anyone to exit Hyrule Kingdom at night. Princess Zelda sent a message to the Great Deku Tree, not to let any Kokiri to exit the Kokiri village to Hyrule Fields at any time. And in one time, a small child named Link was let into the fields. The drawbridge had been closed before it was night. The guards hated to hear his screams, but they couldn't let any of the skeletal monsters inside the castle. Day came to Hyrule Fields, guard lowered the drawbridge, and several dashed out to see if the little Kokiri boy survived. All that left was all that was left of him was blood and bones, and a half-eaten fairy who begged for an ending to her suffering. And that was The Legend of Mario. Um, I don't really know what to say for this one. It did everything right. It was creepy to a point, and, but the blood aspect could have gone a little bit less. But, I, but on the other hand, 
he kind of helped out a little bit. And it was short. It didn't say it's welcome. And that's another good thing. So I think I'll give this story a C. It was creepy to a point, and it does its job very well. So I think that'll work. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Bye.